I'm here today to give you an update on Casper, the famous Casper. We're going to be breaking this down from a technical analysis perspective. We're going to be looking at potential buying areas, potential selling areas, potential DCAing areas, and also price predictions for the next sort of um, six to 12 months or so, or, or the next couple of months or so of what we can sort of be looking out for here for Casper. Okay, so starting off with the the, the market structure, the, the macro market structure for this asset, guys, you can see that um, these are all the high lows that we've got plotted in for this run up that we have seen most recently. Super, super bullish overall compared to um, a lot of the other charts out there, a lot of the other assets out there. This is actually soaring and um, not quite testing all time highs just yet. Maybe not all time highs, but um, I don't know, potentially all time highs, I think. Yeah, potentially all time highs. Uh, but not quite testing it just yet, but we're we're getting dangerously close to a point to the upside there. So yeah, overall, it's looking pretty goddamn juicy. But just remember, the most recent confirmed high low point is down at um, ten cents here. So if we do swing down, if if say if Bitcoin decides to fall off a cliff down to forty k for some random black swan event reason, who knows, um, then uh, you can expect Casper to probably have a retracement of around 40% down to previous market structure higher lows. But in my opinion, this is a, a very lucrative, profitable buying area for this asset. Okay, And the reasoning for that is, guys, is because you've got two confirmed higher lows actually sat directly in this area. And when they're quite close together, guys, they're usually goddamn strong. Okay, they're usually really, really strong in terms of support. So that would be a lovely, lovely long position um, or, or potential DCA uh, for Casper if we do get down to that area. By the looks of it, <laughs> it's not going to happen because uh, it, it probably would have happened already with Bitcoin taking its tumble over the last sort of a couple of weeks or so. But yeah, overall, Casper looking super, super bullish. The one thing that does concern me, and um, I will show you as to why, it's the grouping here of these volume weighted ATR bands. Okay, the grouping here is a concern. The daily, the sorry, the daily, the eight hour, and the twelve hour. When these are together in such a small area, probably not that small, but still, oh no, it's super small. I thought it was gonna be like ten percent. But yeah, two point five, two point three five percent there. When they're grouped together like that, unfortunately, that does show quite a lot of force to the downside in terms of resistance. Okay. So let me get rid of um, the the volume uh, the the wad machine, and I'll show you previously when they have grouped together. Okay, so you can see we've got some minor grouping here, testing a few of them. Didn't test all of them, but then you can see when we do lose them to the downside, it is a it's a bit of a bloodbath. Okay, so we did see a, a move to the upside of around 20, 28, 26 percent there. Um, seeing this uh, come up like so, it was a uh, pretty pretty strong stuff up to that trend line that we have seen uh, from previous um, price action. But um, yeah, the grouping of these is not actually behaving like it is on Bitcoin, <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is uh, interesting, actually, because uh, usually when you see uh, these, these volume weighted ATR bands grouped together like so, we actually see um, a lot more downside, like I'm talking a lot more downside, guys. So maybe it is reacting a bit different. And what I'm talking to is something along the lines of this here. But um, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's not, maybe what we, because obviously, indicators behave different on different charts with different assets guys um and that's why you get loads of different results right so it's good to analyze this data so uh, what we are seeing here for this is potentially we actually break through but when we do lose them okay when we do lose them we can actually see downside here so instead of just shorting when we come up to the volume weighted atr bands in most recent uh, price action here what we could do is potentially wait hold off let Casper do its thing, but then when it loses the volume weighted ATR bands, these three again, there's a lovely short position. Okay, so let's weigh this up um, from previous uh, price action. Let's see if we can get um, some sort of correlation. So you can see here was a nice pullback, 25%. Again here, um, breaking them to the upside. This is going to be the break point around this area here. Again, pretty strong fluctuations. Still 8% to the downside. 28% to the upside. So yeah, not ideal there, but um <clears throat> if you would have held it, you would have uh you would have uh, probably waited and got out in profit. Um it would have been a spot trade here. So we know that don't leverage because um you can see pretty strong swings there. So you got 9% there. Let's see around this area when we did lose it there. 15% there, 16% there as discussed. 
I mean, obviously clear, res clear resistance point, but we're not testing that right now. You can see breaking it to the upside really strong and then losing it here. This is another move down to the downside of around 55%. Okay, so overall, guys, just using this strategy that we just literally came up with <laughs> in a matter of minutes here. Again, we did actually do the same thing just here. Yeah, we did the same thing just here. I'm testing these, all these three, losing them, and then seeing resistance play out for around 16%. So you can see overall, this strategy is actually uh, pretty profitable using these volume weighted ATR bands here. On average, we've got, what we've got? We've got 16, we've got 25, we've got nine, we've got 15, we've got 16, we've got 55. Okay, so on average, I probably would put that around 23%, something like that um, for an average pullback uh, for this uh, for this strategy that we've just uh, sort of created and broken down there. So yeah, potentially a nice short position for Casper coming up in the future here. But what we are waiting for, okay, what we are waiting for again is going to be break to the upside like we have seen here. And then when we lose all these volume weighted ATR bands again, there's a nice little cheeky, cheeky move. And remember, it is um, it's a spot trade. So uh. Don't over leverage yourself because you're likely to get wrecked. It's a it's an open spot trade. So you get in, no stop loss, no take profit. You manage this as as I mean you can set a take profit at the average of, of twenty, you say twenty three percent or what, what, whatever it was. But yeah, that would be the strategy. That would be Casper is um that'd be the Casper trade that I would be looking for here. Just um just create that pretty much on the spot, but it does look pretty good there. But overall, Casper looking good. All-time highs uh, about to be set yet again here. What I would be, um, which, what is actually really interesting looking at this, guys, is we have obviously have seen a pullback uh, from the all-time high here. And that pullback actually consisted of a 29% move, right? And this, what this does, it creates right now, unfortunately, it is an unconfirmed high low. That's why we've got it in orange here at 13 cents. But what it does create when we break this high is a confirmed higher low, which is super, super, super good for bullish market structure here. Um, actually holding that macro structure here um, and setting that. So currently unconfirmed at 13 cents. But if we can break this high in um, recent price action to the upside, which is quite likely uh, with Bitcoin potentially bouncing here, then um, then it's, it's quite likely to see that... Um, <laughs> Still on Bitcoin breakdown scene, damn it. Um, this is quite likely to see a new um, new market structure, uh, higher low, be formed there for for Casper. But yeah, that's going to be it from Casper. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And um, if you like it, drop a little like on it. And uh, if you are new to the stream or, or the channel, uh, we are streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, continuously creating content. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Amazing stuff. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.